Hey everyone, uh, still here in Leeds. Um, I was just talking to Shiv uh, about some of the things our clients ask us regularly about. One of the questions that we get asked a lot is about London capital growth versus Leeds capital growth and what's the kind of uh, long-term prospects from there. What's your thoughts on that? So um, traditionally what really uh, t tended to happen was London used to get a lot of capital growth and quite a little um, rental return. So basically uh, London would get a capital growth of usually in the region of about 10% and rental return usually in the region of about 2-3% something like that. And people would make do with the not so good rental return because over the long term the prices would increase. However right now what seems to have happened is that those numbers have switched around. So the London market has started crashing already. A lot of places are in zero capital growth if not negative capital growth uh, and what that's done is left a really big opportunity for investors to invest outside of London so right now uh, for example in Leeds uh, we're getting capital growth uh, the last statistic I saw was 6.9 or 7 percent uh, capital growth year on year and from speaking to agents over the last kind of two or three months I know that capital growth is definitely in excess of sort of 10 percent or something like that okay uh, well that's amazing it's always good for our, um, our people look, uh, looking at us to know what's kind of going on um, what does it actually mean for clients coming on board or existing clients? Yeah, so if you look at our, one of our existing clients um, who purchased, let's say, two years ago from us. So in those two years, they would have received rental returns, let's say, of about 8% uh, year on year. So that, they, let's say they would have made £2,500 a year on, on their money that they would have put in. So that's £5,000 there. Um, and then on top of that, they would have also received uh, capital growth of between 5 and 10% in Leeds. So not only have they received the rental return, they've received the capital growth. So all in all, they've received, let's say, 8% of rental return, 8% of capital growth, and in total about 16%. And if you compare that with what's been going on in London right now, if they had bought two years ago, the market prices would have gone down by about £100,000, £50,000 to £100,000, uh, and as well as that, the rental returns would not be um, anything to shout about either. So they would have really made a real, real loss, whereas in Leeds they would have made um, a real return, real gain. Brilliant. All right, thank you, Shiv. Listen, uh, I, I, if any of you else have any other questions, why not comment below uh, and we'll do our best to answer it. Thank you. See you soon.